contested under Pro K1 rules in the 88.5 kilogram division. Over to your referee. Oh, and the atmosphere goes up a notch for Charles Sikwa versus Rion Wong. Sikwa, the more experienced, 44 bouts. Rion Wong, this just his 10th, but he could leave here as a European champion. Two men, big at the weight, 88 and a half kilos, five three-minute rounds. And literally, huge cliche, but anything could happen here. Could go all five. Could be over in a flash will be brutal. Rion Wong, red gloves, green trunks, Charles Sikwa, black trunks, blue gloves, red trim. Both of them getting some knees in. More than a hint of the Muay Thai's about it. Yeah, Rion Wong's got the height advantage. Sikwa, very experienced. Look at Rion Wong, 88.5. Obviously, that's a lot of weight, but look at the amount of muscle that he carries around the thighs, the hamstrings, across the shoulders. He does incredibly well to get down to the weight. Yeah, he's huge, really huge. Sikwa's been in with the best, though. He's been in with everyone. And looking at his record, he's come out on the right side of the ledger he as well. He certainly has. Got a lot of good scalps to his name, as Charles Sikwa. Lovely guys, these two actually, outside the ring too. So great ambassadors for the sport. It's nice to see. It's interesting, isn't it? Five rounds. Just means that they do take a little bit more time, which is probably for the best, because you could never fight for five rounds at the pace we've seen the three round bouts at. That's it. Five threes as well is a long time when you're in there. <coughs> See Wong there. Stood in the southpaw stance, leading with the right hand. Sikwa just throws the right. And then Wong back into the orthodox, leading with the right hand. And a nice little knee there from Wong. Yeah, that was a lovely little step through knee. What I will say is, I'm referred to as a little knee. I'm sure it didn't feel like that for Sikwa. <laughs> no little shots from these boys. No. Referee's going to break him, say one knee and release. Nice work, gentlemen. Great opening bout. So a tentative opening round from both. There's Wong just trying to get that knee away in the clinch. He'll be allowed one. Feeling each other out with the knee there. Wong getting a little bit too close to let the hands go. So and they just pour out the job, but the, the jab, sorry, but not a huge amount of venom behind it. Just using it as a range finder. Does have the physical advantage in terms of height and reach. Sikwa, been around long enough to try and counteract those. Round two. Rion Wong gets a great reception here, so plenty of tickets as Sikwa wraps his foot around the ribcage, not once but twice, and then gets the right hand away, Charles Sikwa. 
Yeah, he's got big power. Oh, nice jab from Sikwa as well. Nothing on the end of it. Just a little taste for Wong Ho. Another good kick from Sikwa. <laughs> I'd like to see a Muay Thai fight with these two, actually. It, it looks very Muay Thai, doesn't it? Charles Sick was a very good Muay Thai fighter. I think he was formerly ranked number one at 90 kilos and ranked at 85. I think 85, as low as 85. So he's fought all over the weights. Rion, nice. massive in there, though. And they they're both edging in like they want to get into the clinch as well, aren't they? Yeah. Look at that. Nice work from Rion Wong. <laughs> <laughs> Love that from Charles Sikwa. Gets the respect to the crowd as well. They look like they're having fun in there. That's what it's all about. But just going back to that, you'd like to see a Muay Thai fight between them, and both of them have distinguished Muay Thai careers. Yeah, Rion well. Wong upstairs twice, then follows it in with the knee. Stepping in knee, that step in knee that Rion Wong does is beautiful. Great technique. But you have to credit fighters, don't you? Yeah, who'll, look. who'll do K1, who'll do Muay Thai, who'll test themselves against quality opposition across different skill sets and rule sets. Certainly. And this time Wong leads with a kick, then follows it up with the hands. Does really well to control while he holds and then let go and punch his way out again. Oh, gets through with the knee. Sikwa was going backwards, so it didn't have the required impact, but will still... Oh, lovely knee. Rion Wong's finding his distance really well now. Seems to be... Finding his feet in this fight. Oh, nice Oy. body shot from Sikwa, followed up with the <laughs> uppercut in the final 10 seconds of the round. Then Wong comes back with a knee. Sikwa going to work on Rion Wong at the end of the round. <laughs> Look at the smile on Chris Bachador's face. Just when I said how good Rion Wong was doing, he eats a massive uppercut from Sikwa. Wow. Well, just a reminder of the British title fight at 75 kgs. If you didn't watch it, then go back and do it. One of the highlights of tonight. But this one certainly has fight of the night potential, particularly when we've got three rounds to go and we've just seen Charles Sikwa turn the temperature up at the end of round two. Yeah, let's see if we see it on this replay now. that nice knee in close by Rion Wong. So here we go then, round three. Back how into will, the action. How will Wong respond to that little Sikwa onslaught? Oh, lovely Ooh. right hand from Sikwa. Took an accidental low blow there, I think. And then Wong tries to jump on him, gets the knee away, Rion Wong. Again, you can see he's desperate to get those Muay Thai, Muay Thai knees round the, round the side, isn't it? He is, but he's going to let go. He can knee, then he's going to let go, and then he can knee again. But Sikwa's hurt him there. Did oh, Sikwa no. hurt him with the hands? So oh, dangerous. Here we go, tearing it up. Sikwa throws, then Wong responds. He's saying, come on. Charles Sikwa's saying, come on, let's go. Coming forward. Look at the eyes of Rion Wong. He's not comfortable in there. I think Sikwa hurt him in the body there. And then just with that jab, just slowed Wong right down. And Sikwa, look at the venom in the punches. He's selecting his shots as well. well There's that left hook to the body, I think, that hurt mm. Wong. Sikwa smells it, look. Look how much that slowed Rion Wong down. And this is the experience of Charles Sikwa, isn't it? He's not jumping on Rion Wong. He knows he's ahead. He's not empty in the tank. He's being selective with his work. Yeah, but he's... Ready to tee up those big shots. 
then Wong responds. Looks like there's a bit of blood coming from the nose of Rion Wong. Charles Sigwa, not bothered by any of this. No. Yeah. He's taking his breath. What I'd like to see Wong do, though, is work behind the jab. Oh, another good shot from Sikwa, but Wong responds. Ooh, big kick, big knee, both from Rion Wong. Sikwa doesn't seem to be bothered by the power, though, does he? Which is remarkable. Well, if he's fought up at 90 kilos before, this is not a new weight for him. But he is the physically the smaller man there. I don't know anybody who looks bigger than Rion Wong, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> at the weight, he's Not the biggest. Weight. It's terrifying. Inside the final minute of round three, another good knee from Rion Wong. Seems to have recovered, but still, this is something that doesn't look quite right in there with him, isn't it? The thing is, just that danger point from Charles Sikwa mm -hmm. is always, always a threat. Well, 30 seconds to go in the round. What are the odds that when he hears the clappers, he really turns it on again and finishes with a flourish, catches the judge's eyes? Oh, good kick to the body. Blood coming from the nose of Rion Wong. Yeah. I was right. He's taking some shots. Good response from Wong, though. Oh, nice work to the body again from Sikwa towards the there end. There he goes, the uppercut then there. The uppercut. He's caught Wong with that a couple of times. Yeah. See now using cliches again we've used it a number of times tonight there's nowhere to hide in k1 but rion wong has got such an obvious advantage with that jab so what you do you try and keep sikwa at bay with the jab he hasn't done that every time he's fully lengthened it there's there's no way that sikwa can get close to him that's the way he can recharge that's the way he can refill the tank but Every time he gets the chance, he's getting in, he's trying to get those knees away. I mean, they're good knees, but they're energy sapping for him as well as Sikwa. You've seen him well, go that to was the, it to there. The... Those three left hooks to the body seem to sap the energy, take the battery power out of Rion Wong there. Don't underestimate the punching power of Charles Sikwa. to go for the 88.5 kg European ISKA title. I feel like Charles Sikwa is setting up those hands. <coughs> Real Wong Southpaw here, working from that stance. Doesn't block as effectively from Southpaw though. Not a natural Southpaw, you can see he's much better as an Orthodox. Oh, good work to the body again from Sikwa. Just a little one, two, three. And you can tell they work because Wong stops. Yeah, and moves off. Sikwa stalking again. And needs to work more though. Rion Wong's work rate is much higher. Well, with one minute into round four now, fatigue is going to start to play a factor. There's that step in knee from Wong. See, so he doesn't block properly from Southpaw. And then I think he's realising this is not yeah. a great place for me to stand. Needs to change it. It's all very well switching stance, but you need to be able to defend yourself effectively. See, Ron got through with the jab there, but he just poured it out. It was just a little backhander. No venom in it. Because he's not a natural southpaw. Charles Sikwa loading up on that left hook to the body. Overhand right. Corner in his man. Again, looking to work that left to the body. I think Charlie Sikwa feels like that's his shot. Better from Wong, though. Couple of lovely knees to the midriff of Sikwa. 
and then backs his man up into the corner. 40 seconds, around four to go. This is better work from Wong. This one's going down the stretch. A little nod of approval there from Sikwa. A little body shot around the corner from Wong. Doesn't do a lot of damage though as Sikwa comes back with the kick. 20 seconds of the round to go. It's around about the time where Sikwa usually comes on with a bit of a flurry to try and catch the judge's eye. Here we go, there go the clappers. Lands a body shot and then backs Wong up onto the ropes again. Then with the kick to the body once more. Dominating the ring position at the end of the round, but we go to the fifth and final for the European belt. There's that work from Rion Wong. He does well to land the knee and then step out. Charlie Sick was stalking him, working that left hook to the body. Rion Wong keeping that elbow tight. Doesn't want to get caught with that again. Final round of the fight, final round of the night here at Combat Fight Series. What a night of action it's been here. Oh, fantastic. Kudos to uh, Rory Crawford. Some great matchups oh. tonight. Lovely jab there from Sikwa. Yeah, Sikwa's hands are dangerous. Right, this belt's up for grabs. This could be the deciding round. Look at that. Leon well. Wong needs to stop going southpaw and to eat in low kicks. Legs hurt. Charlie Sikwa can see his legs hurt. But is that the reason why he's switching to southpaw? Just to protect that leg. Real Wong slowing down on those legs. Mm -hmm. But likewise, Sikwa hasn't been as effective up top as he was in rounds two and three. Nope, he's got two minutes to make it happen if he's going to chop the legs out from the big tree. He's going to have to do it fast. Nice push kick from Real Wong. Leg kick of his own. Mixes it upstairs, downstairs really well. Mixes his boxing with his kicking. There's certainly been more variety in the work of Rion Wong, but there's been more menace in the work of Charles Sikwa. That's what makes it such a difficult fight to score. Nice step in knee again from Rion Wong. He ducks in and throws that left hook to the body himself. Yeah, there was a nice knee to the body from Wong there as well, with Sikwa in the corner. 121 to go on. Oh, nice right hand from Sikwa. Gets over the top of the guard of Wong. Then the body shot. Then another uppercut comes through. This is where Sikwa's been dangerous. Smile on the face of Wong. A little bit of blood from somewhere as well. I think it's from Rion's nose. I don't think it's anything new. Oh, Sikwa turns it on again. Rion Wong walks back into the middle of the ring. It's almost like Sikwa needs another couple of rounds. Or does he? Both Big. men go into war in round five in this final minute. See the knee there from Wong. Oy. Big push kick from Rion Wong. Charlie Sigwa taking a breather, but he can't afford to. He's got to come forward. He's got 35 seconds. Both men have got 35 seconds. Empty the tank, and you could be a champion. Who wants it more? Rion Wong coming forward again. That's important. Wong needed to get out of that corner. Then lands the right hand himself, Rion Wong. And the arena responds, jab from Sikwa, who goes southpaw temporarily. 15 seconds to go, Oy. great shot from Sikwa. Just the jab straight through the guard, <laughs> into the final 10 seconds. Last Turns 10 the seconds. Down for these two. Oh, Oy. another good shot from Sikwa. <laughs> Rion Wong rides the power. Both men hear the final bell. Love it, love it. Look at everyone smiling. This is what it's all about, oh, man. Unbelievable, what a way to end the show. Sikwa raises his hands.
That's how I like to see a fight ending. Yeah. Rion Wong smiling. Charlie Segura smiling. Even the referee, Chris Bachelor, smiling. They are loving it in there. Great sportsmanship. Both men showing each other huge respect after that. After they spill each other's blood and tore each other apart for five three minute rounds to contest the Pro K1 European ISKA title at 88.5 kilos. Brilliant Tim. fight. Both men here in the final bell. Both men deserving to as well. The belt is in the ring. This is going to the judges' scorecards. I mean, what do you go for? Do you go for work rate? Do you go for force? Do you go for impact? The belt being presented by a, a legend there, a UK legend, Tim Isley. He'll present the belt as the judges just... Uh, already, already, I'm thinking rematch. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd love to see him do it again. It's only just finished. <laughs> Coming off 10 rounds. <laughs> All right. It looks like they're going to do another round, does it? No, surely not. Extra round. Oh, Extra I love round it. is the call. Yes. <laughs> Everyone was in the ring. The referee was ready to give the result. The ring announcer was in there. The ring girls were in there with the trophies. Yes. The belt was in there. This is what I'm talking about. And this is it. Three minutes to become a champion. At the end of the night here, combat fight series, the local time, close to 10 p.m. Sudden death. Who takes the round, takes the fight. Here we go. <laughs> Three minutes, sick one. Listen First to that four. atmosphere. Oh, this is stunning. This is what fight nights are all about. And if this is your first time watching CFS, something like this always happens. European title on the line. Couldn't be separated after five rounds. Who is going to turn the screw and do enough here? The atmosphere in this place is crazy. Well, everyone's up out of their seats. They're crowding around the ring. The security are sending them back. A Sikwa lands a body shot, but then Wong turns it on. Lovely shot from Sikwa again, getting through the guard. What Gotta a think. fight this has been so far. Five hard fought rounds, and we go into a sixth. Got to and think both of these men have prepared for five as well. This extra round is going to take its toll. They're already exhausted. No one with any clean work yet. Wong just landing a shot there. Then the counter coming back from Sikwa. Two, Two minutes more to go. minutes. Two minutes to go to decide this title fight. A couple of good knees from Wong and then just pads out that jab as well. He's looked the busier in the round so far, but we know Sikwa has been able to turn the screw physically. Does he have enough energy to find some of those telling shots? That's a good jab. Blood pouring from the nose of Rion Wong. Oh, mixing with the spit out of the mouth as well. Oh, he has been in a war, Rion Wong. Good kick from Sikwa. Then the body shot. Big shots coming from Sikwa. Chris Bachelor again calls them into fight. 1.15 to go. Right hook from Wong. Off the gloves of Sikwa, though. The whole place is on its feet. Yeah, nice jab there from Wong. Just showing a bit more control than he has done in the bout so far. Oh. Huge credit to Wong, but incredibly composed. Final minute. One, One minute to go. One flash of brilliance here. Could be the difference between leaving as a champion and not. Right hook around the corner from Sikwa. And then Wong gets over the guard with the right hook. Ooh. Then Sikwa with the straight right. Big hands from Sikwa again. 40 seconds to go. The power's disappearing out of the shot, so that stylish little knee for Wong. That'll catch the eyes of the judges. Sikwa. Big right hand from Sikwa. Final 30 seconds. Blood on the face of Wong as he clutches in close, but no clinching means we're going to finish big, and Sikwa tries to do exactly that. Oh! A great shot from Wong, and then a body shot from Sikwa. Open shot and empties the curtain. Wobbles Rio Wong for the final few seconds. Oh, what 
to finish here. Kick to the body. And then a right hand from Sikwe is the wow. final punch wow. of the fight. Wong's corner lifts into the sky. Sikwe <laughs> bounces off the ring. Both men think they've done enough to become champion. Oh, my. <laughs> Superb. Everyone is out of their seats. They poured forward. The temperature has risen. The noise has been extraordinary. What about? What a fight. But we're back to where we were four or five minutes ago. The belt is in the ring. The ring announcer is there. The referee, the fighters. Rion Wong's supporters. Oh, he's brought a great, great crew with him. And we're in a situation in the middle where both men genuinely believe they've done enough to become the ISKA European champion. It's all down to that round. Your judges have reached unanimous decision. So please raise the roof for the new ISKA European K1 champion in the blue corner. Kid is Charles Sikwa. There you go. Extra round. Everyone goes nuts. <laughs> his work rate, his clean shots, and his industry are enough for him to become the ISKA European champion at 88.5 kgs. Dave Benson, they have to do it again. Oh, please, please do it again. What a six rounds of action. That was insane. Absolutely insane. Love that. Love that.